Hi Wrap Candy, this is Sonia again and I'm going to show you a very simple trick when making word art. Um, and because Christmas is right around the corner, I'm going to be using the shape of a triangle today. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my Wrap Candy program. And I'm going to go ahead and choose my size at 5 inches by 8 inches just to show you what I'm going to be working with in this square here. And the next what I want to do is I want to pick my triangle and I'm going to stretch it out to fit in this box. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it over. That way it gives me the most room to work with. And there's my triangle. And we're going to be deleting that later. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put in the biggest word that I want everyone to be able to see for the first time when they're looking at my word art, which is going to be Christmas. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the font to, to a really cute uh, font style. I'm choosing Aquarelle for this one. And I like that one really well. And I'm going to go ahead and make it like a size 28 just to fit right about here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color and you're going to want to do this every time until I've got the color that I want. And I'm going to choose the basic red out of the color palette. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my next text. And I'm going to put I love. And then I'm going to choose another font. And this time I'm going to go with the block letter. Um, let me go ahead and choose Basque. Now you can use whatever font you want and you can play around with it and I'm just going to put this right about there and again I'm going to change it to the red. Okay and then you just want to keep doing this with different words. Um, you can use presents, uh, family, um, anything that has to do with the special occasion that you're working on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this until I get it the way I want. And then I will go ahead and show you how we uh, um, save it all as a PNG, which is a, a transparent background, so we can put it on whatever we want. So I will be back in a few minutes to show you how to do that, okay? Okay, so now I have finished filling in my triangle, and I'll go ahead and zoom in on it. I used just different fonts to fill in the whole entire thing, all the way down at the bottom, and then I chose smaller fonts, uh, font sizes to do the bottom of it, but I wanted to get as much in there as I could. Um, and then what I'm going to do, after I zoom back out, is I'm going to go ahead and, and get rid of this triangle okay and I want to go ahead and save this as an image a PNG transparency I want my resolution to be at 300 and I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for now because we're gonna go back into wrap candy in just a second so I'm just gonna go ahead and name this and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up another one and we're just going to hit none. And then I'm going to go ahead and import that image. As soon as I find it. There it is. And of course it's really large so of course I have to decrease it. Let me go ahead and pull it up here so that you see what it looks like. And all that's missing on this now is the star at the top. And of course I can use whatever star I can get my hands on. I have some that I just got my hands on the other day um, and I cannot remember where it was right now but just for right now we'll go ahead and just use the preset uh, shape of the star. And I'm just going to make it a certain size and I'm going to make the color yellow and I'm going to also fill it with the color yellow and I'm going to put it at the very, very top, just like that. 
And now if I wanted to, I could actually make this a little bit bigger just by stretching it down. That way you can save all your fonts as a PNG and you don't have to go back and change out the colors. You can just make one that's green, one that's red, one that's blue, one that's purple, whatever you want to do. And once I get the star where I want it and make it just a little bit bigger, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a new image and save it as a transparency again with, with the resolution at 300. And I'm going to put Xmas tree with star. And I'll show you how easy it is to actually import it to the front of a wrapper. So let me go ahead and, and choose another uh, a standard candy wrapper. And I'm just going to go ahead and import a background really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm just going to use one from a company that I've gone through for several Christmas items. And I'm going to choose uh, just a real simple background. And of course I did not decrease this image because I'm just trying to do this really fast. But normally you will already have a pre-selected background that you want to go with. And then of course I'm going to stretch it out where I need it to be. And I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of boxes really quick just to show you what it would look like. And of course you're going to want to do this the, the right way. So I'm going to choose, um, uh, I'll go ahead and do gray as a border. I think that would look pretty cool. And the fill color is going to be white. And there's that just to show you what it's going to look like. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my Christmas tree. So of course I got to go back to my desktop. Scroll down here to the Xmas tree with the star and decrease the image because I saved it at a higher resolution. Pull it over here and then I can just go ahead and shrink it down if I need to. But you'll see in just a minute what this is going to look like. And it's a little bit too big still. So I'm going to shrink it down a little bit more. And there we go. Very easy to do. Um, I, again, I use several different fonts and then I save them as a PNG in transparency form so you can actually put something else in back of it if you want. But that's how I make my word art. Uh, you can use different um, shapes from your shape uh, box down here be below the dropper. I mean, anything, you know, as long as you've got a shape to use, you can pretty much fill it with any type of word that you want. And tomorrow I will show you how to make word art that's in a swirl pattern. But that's another tutorial. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, I was happy to do it. Thank you.